Welcome to Trans Design TV, coming to you from the Transportation Design Department at Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. This episode, an aerodynamic hybrid for Hyundai. Project brief this summer was to create a vehicle that would fit the North American market in 2018. It had to be a vehicle that was distinct and unique. It had to have extremely high aero num numbers and be extremely efficient. The students needing to learn how to balance these two distinctive needs uh, from each sponsor. Also, simultaneously, they had to learn uh, new skill sets in order to meet objectives on either side. So it was actually a, a very lofty project for the students. I is thrilled to be a part of this project with Arts Center and Hyundai. One of the main things is that we learn, because we're uh, an engineering provider. What, what we learn is how the design process works, how designers think, and how to bring analysis into that design in a way that's meaningful and bridges the gap between the artistic side and the engineering side. And what the students get is they, they get a realistic scenario for designing vehicles in that there's this tension that's always there between how does the model look and how well does it perform. You can have the design that you want in that you know, all of the artistic side uh, of the discussion is all about that shape and that design. You can have the design that you want and we can tweak it or improve certain areas or certain proportions uh, to get the aero performance. And that's what design freedom is all about. I'm not sure many design schools are doing this kind of stuff right now. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to be a part of it. Sort of had to go through a tough love session with this model. What happened was I, I was under the impression that I it's, it's resolved. I mean, this thing is looking great. The instructors love it. Everything's looking great. I, I made a lot of changes and I did what they asked me to do. And I was so confident. All right, this is going to be it. And uh, I sent it off to the Arrow guys, and it just it, it's not working. Air that goes around the back of a rounded surface wants to get caught up behind the card. I had a bunch of more problems. Sometimes you don't want to hear about it. Look, I, it just looks cool. Leave me alone. <laughs> I don't care what it's doing in the wind. Sometimes the air analysis will push you sort of backtracking. You can't really help it. What you're doing is you're making real, authentic, true design. But all things considered, with 14 weeks, you know, it's pretty tough sometimes to take a couple steps back at week, you know, 11 or 12 and make huge changes to your model. But it's cool. Again, it's it's a really good experience. No prior training in aerodynamics, and it's very hard for us to understand, you know, something that's that's more engineer based than design based. It was a great learning experience because we kind of know what shapes work and what shapes won't work. I mean, everything inside is completely immersed. The entire surrounding is a flexible LCD. It's a city car, seats five people, designed for a very hip crowd, electric platform instead of standard gasoline platform. It's going to be very light, using various uh, materials that uh, haven't been used before. Stuff like this, I mean, has a structure of uh, you know sheet metal, but it's uh, much lighter and it's transparent, so you could have a peripheral vision. There's you know this kind of stuff too. It's going to use natural elements, you know, in cases of plastic. So you maybe have a dashboard or something like that that. Uh, kind of shows you what's inside, but you can't really see it until you open it. Basically, they came to us, uh, you know, kind of asking for modern uh, modern shapes, uh, what we think uh, Hyundai might look like in the future. I've learned a lot about aerodynamics, and, you know, it's not like you imagine. What they tell you is kind of, you know, a revelation every time. There's really not even 14 weeks to think about it, because we present week 13, so we have to be done week 13, so that means the whole design has to be finished. So we have to, uh, we have to really manage our time to get this done. Part of this project is what is the face of Hyundai going to be in 2018. Something I came up with pretty early on was this, this feature line that comes off the hood and flows up into the windshield. Uh, that got a lot of attention when I first started doing it, but the challenge there was, okay, great, you got a good idea for the front, let's see what happens around the rest of the car. Started working on the, the rear design, the sides. At the same time that was happening, that I was trying to make these lines follow around the side of the car, I was getting these little details back from EXA and their reports, and it shows the flow lines right on the car. That inspired me to start putting the lines there. I actually would look at that at different views and say, yeah, you know what, these little curves that come around the side are pretty cool. So that actually started to feed in this where some of the DLO lines and things like that, fender lines and whatnot. I like the, the graphic breakup. You know, you carry that dark graphic through to the front. Um, overall, I think it's a nice development. It would be nice to do a little more graphic development in the front. Okay. You know, in the lamp graphic, when that thing's lit, 
you know, with LED technology, you can do something that's totally fresh and new. And again, showing some type of badging or branding, which is still very blank. And I think there's a little bit more you can just finish to really have a nice piece in your portfolio. Okay, but nice job. Thanks. When I started out doing the research, uh, I came across a uh, movement towards a, a premium sustainable living uh, lifestyle. It's, it's about using recycled materials in a beautiful way. Um, I wanted to have the rear passengers facing rearward so that I could uh, push the head envelope forward and allow the, the uh, profile to be more elegant. What a statement, really, to get out of the car, out of the rear, uh, as, as you arrive to a, an event. On the nose of the vehicle, we looked at some different refinements and were able to get a lot more efficient shape. I think you can be looking at a much lower drag value than that. Uh, Jameson, I know uh, you kind of, the first couple reviews we had during the summer, I was kind of beating you saying, just give me something different other than just a coupe. And now at the end, seeing the final you know, project, I think you successfully did a luxury hybrid car. It looks like it's something a little bit different. You know, the package is a little bit different. It was worth it. You, you pushed yourself and you evolved it into a car. You know that that is, is unique in profile. I can't say that I've seen, you know, at least these mix of elements on a vehicle. So I think overall, you know, as a final project, you did well. So congratulations. <laughs> you know, hopefully we'll see some of these these guys in the coming years, either as interns in our studio or or possible employees. They'll go forward in the years to come and look back and realize that they got a taste of what it was getting feedback from their design bosses in the industry and also keeping such key things in mind as, as aerodynamics, which are going to play a more important role in all vehicle design as we go forward. Working with EXA is one of the, I think, most beneficial things we can give to the students right now. What is really happening today in studios is that designers are having to connect with engineers and different groups all along the development process. So being able to, as a student, show a portfolio which you said, I've not only have I considered aerodynamics, I've really solved for it. I've worked with aerodynamicists and I'm interested in, prepared to think critically on that level and create good design solutions around it. That's gonna go miles. Join us next time on Trans Design TV when we visit the studio of custom hot rod maestro, Chip Foose.